Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 6th of August 1890, William Kemmler became the first person to be executed using an electric chair. Buffalo dentist Alfred Southwark had been experimenting with electrocution as a new and supposedly humane form of execution in the aftermath of a number of botched hangings. After hearing reports of a drunk worker who died from touching a high-voltage electrical generator, Southwark began work on the first electric chair. It was later refined by the New York Medico Legal Society, and New York lawmakers formally replaced hanging with electrocution on the 1st of January 1888. Meanwhile, William Kemmler had moved to Buffalo, New York from Pennsylvania after the death of his parents. He became a vegetable peddler and began a relationship with Matilda Tilly Ziegler, but was also a violent alcoholic. On the 29th of March 1888, the day after a heavy drinking binge, Kemmler attacked and killed his common-law wife with a hatchet during a particularly aggressive argument. He was arrested later that day and was subsequently found guilty of murder. He was sentenced to death using the new electric chair. At 5am on the 6th of August 1890, Kemmler was woken from his cell in Auburn prison. After dressing and eating breakfast, he entered the execution chamber, where the new chair had been successfully tested on a horse the previous day. Having been strapped to the chair and attached to electrodes, 1,000 volts were passed through his body for 17 seconds. Although initially believed to be dead, witnesses noticed that he was still breathing. The generator was subsequently charged with 2,000 volts, resulting in Kemmler's skin beginning to bleed and a foul smell start to fill the room as his hair and flesh singed before he died. The entire procedure took around eight minutes. Thank you.